Do you want to create amazing looking photographs for your physical and online businesses? Well, worry no more because the new update of Mid Journey V6 right here can really help you with that. So yeah, it can help you create amazingly looking product photographs for all of your use cases. So we're talking about designer bags, sunglasses, cosmetic items, garments, shoes, snack items, grocery items, and much more. So in this video, we're gonna dive deep into the product photography with Mid Journey, explore its use cases, types. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, guys, so here I am in my Mid Journey once again. And as you guys can see right over here that I've been testing on product photographies for a very long time now and in this video I'll basically showcase to you guys a lot of product photography types which will include designer bags, sunglasses, cosmetic items, garments, shoes, snack items, grocery items and etc. So before we jump right into it, first of all, it's really important to understand what will be the prompt formula for product photography, right? So I basically cracked down uh, the prompt formula for you guys, so which will include, first of all, podium design, which is really important if you are working on product photography. And then you have to include background, shot type, lighting, decorating items, composition, product effects, package design, texture and material, design movement, product design, and color palette, right? And all those things will add up to beautiful product photographs that will blow your mind, right? All right, so now, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and create product photographs of designer bags, sunglasses, cosmetic items, and all those things. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and type in my prom formula for each of one that one by one. So this will include everything that was in, in a prom formula along with the parameter AR16 by 9. So obviously, uh, for the photographs, you always want your images to be in 16 by 9 aspect ratio, okay? So I'm going to do that for all of these use cases accordingly. All right, so here we go, guys. So now we have different type of product photographs for different categories. So first of all, uh, we have photographs for designer bags. So I type in a from a minimalistic podium design with a monochrome background. The short type is close up. So you guys can see. So these photographs for our black and white type of image looks absolutely perfect, right? So we have the bag and as per I wrote in my prom that it will include a silk scarf and a small stack of fashion magazines, right? So yeah, uh, this looks really, really good. And the second, uh, we have four sunglasses. So yeah, take a look at this. Wow, it is completely matching the vibe of whatever a product we are trying to create photographs so yes and glasses is placed there in a sunny day at some beach so yeah this looks really really good then we have for cosmetic item and for that it took a few of the cosmetic items and yeah the same vibe goes for our cosmetic items so we have kind of a pinkish uh, background and yeah this looks really really good and the next we have for garments so yeah take a look at this this is really really good right so we have some kind of a urban style and yeah, wherever uh, the garments are placed, that place is absolutely perfect. And yeah, then we have for some shoes. Okay, so for shoes photography, this looks really, really good as well. Then like we are getting the same setting, the same vibe for our shoes as well. And then we have for snack items. Wow, take a look at this. A really colorful kind of image for our snack. And then for grocery items. Yeah, this one is really, really impressive as well, right? Okay, so another cool uh, feature of Mid Journey is that now you can work with logos as well as writing in your product photographs, which is really, really useful. So take a look at this from a minimalistic podium design with a monochrome background and all those details. And I type uh, the color palette is black and white label with Chanel elegance. And if I take a look at this image, so you guys can see we clearly have Chanel elegance all over the images as a brand logo. So this is very useful, you guys. Then if I take a look at the sunglasses, so I wrote Ray-Ban Summer should be labeled. And if you take a look in the images, so yeah, Ray-Ban is all over there. So we have branding as well as logo uh, now in our product photographs. And if I take a look at the cosmetic items, so yeah, similarly, you guys can see we can edit uh, that name or logo as per your uh, business. So yeah, this looks really fantastic as well. Then if we go ahead and see for garments, so it was Levi's Classic. So wow, take a look at this. This looks really, really good. I mean, you can simply take this photographs and use for your online businesses like without having any problem, right? And then if I go ahead and look over some shoes. So wow, just look at these images and admire how beautiful those look. 
So we have Nike Jordans over here. So take a look at the Nike logo and kind of a vibe, a neon vibe that is providing. So yeah, this looks absolutely fantastic. Like it's crazy how beautifully and how accurate uh, these products as shoes are, okay? And for the snack items, I labeled Lay's Picnic and yeah, uh, the writing is absolutely perfect. And as well for uh, the grocery items, uh, I labeled Whole Foods Market. And for that, it provided me absolutely perfect images, right? So yeah, this is how uh, you can go ahead and play with logos as well as branding in your product photography as well, which is absolutely crazy, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and talk about some of the more types of your product photographies, which can be product photography, commercial photography, macro photography, and you know, as well as model with the product in the photography, right? So these are four different categories you can play with if you are generating your product photographies, right? So in this example, I've taken a cosmetic item, which is actually nail polish or lipstick, you can say in this case, and I've wrote different prompts for my same product, which is a cosmetic item, and take a look at the difference. So first of all, uh, we have the product photography, which is looking like a product photography. So it's a regular photography, then we have the commercial. So yeah, take a look at the settings, each and everything. This looks really, really good, right? So this is how you can differentiate between your product photographies. Then we have the macro one. So wow, take a look at the detail, like how it's beautifully managing the macro photography. Like if you are into your online businesses, so you can go ahead and play with different types of photo photography. And yeah, you can use that for your online businesses. And then if you go ahead and look at the model with the product and the photography. So now you can have models in your images as well they will play a great role in advertising your products. So yeah, this is absolutely crazy, right? So there you have it, guys. This was the exploration of doing product photography in mid-journey V6. So yeah, we explore our types of product photography, all the use cases, and what are the things you can create your photos, right? So I hope you like this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.